It's here. Oh my God, okay, it's happening. We all know it's here, but it's really, truly here. At his latest event, Elon Musk unveiled his line of robots. Hasta la vista, baby. It is wild and it brings up a lot of questions that are worth checking out. Look at this. And uh, we've made a lot of progress with uh, Optimus. And uh, as you can see, we, we started up with someone um, in a robot suit, uh, sort of down, and then we've progressed tr dramatically year after year. So if you extrapolate this, you're really gonna have something spectacular, something that anyone could own. Um, so you can have your own personal R2-D2 C-3PO. And that's what we've all wanted, right? I mean, and this is the world in which we live and it's becoming more accessible. Listen to what he says here. And I think at scale, the, the, you know, this would cost something like, I don't know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. Probably less, less than a car is my prediction, long term. Now, you know, it'll take us a minute to get to the long term, but, um, but fundamentally at scale, the Optimus robot, you should be able to, to buy an Optimus robot for, I think, probably twenty to $30,000 long term. So, and, and, and what can it do? It can, it'll be able to do anything you want. So it can um, be a teacher, babysit your kids, it can walk your dog, mow your lawn, get the groceries, just be your friend, serve drinks, um, whatever you can think of, it will do. It can even be your friend. Okay, so as Christian people, it you know, as a pastor, I'm thinking, okay, what do you do with all this? We're actually at a place where uh, the robot thing is very cool. It'd be nice, to, you know, to have a robot take out the trash and bring you your meals and all that sort of stuff. But at the same time, what does this say about who we are as human beings and everything? And I think uh, one of the wonderful things about the Christ Center worldview, it does give us a foundation uh, through which to see all these things and at least respond. And 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 one one side of that is positive because. We believe that human beings are creating the, creating the image of God, and they have a special place in the created order, and we believe in a creator. Um, we have the basis uh, to pursue technology, and, and to uh, the, God said to subdue the earth, which means to bring out its potential. And Elon Musk is a great example of someone who's bringing out the potential of the earth that's in mind-blowing ways. So we can support that. I think Christian people ought to be the most technologically innovative and artistic and creative people living because they have a basis on that. It's one Wonderful to do that. Use it to the fullest of its potential. But on the other hand, be warned, we are created in the image of God, but the Bible is very, very clear that we have sin coursing through our veins. We gravitate towards unrighteousness. That's the entire problem. That's why Jesus had to die for us and the whole thing. And so it's going to happen people are going to use this kind of technology for evil purposes. They will. Uh, the Bible actually says uh, one of the human sins is to invent ways of doing evil. People always take technology and use it for good, and they use it for wrong. And so we need to be prepared for that and be very realistic about it. So be innovative on one hand, but on the other hand, be very, very wise and aware of how it's being used. You just be prepared for that. Don't, don't automatically think it's all bad or it's all evil or anything like that. It's not. Uh, it'll have the mix, just like the rest of humankind always has and will until the day of redemption. That's the key thing. So the main thing to do is to keep your nose in the Bible and learn it and understand it and have a Christ-centered worldview. Keep your feet on the ground in that way. Pray, interact, uh, enjoy what technology is bringing us. Uh, it's amazing stuff, but at the same time, kind of walk around with a little bit of skepticism and uh, an eye of discernment and pray over those things. We talk about this very thing in... Uh, video form. So check this out. It's called What's Wrong with the World.